The other end would be an app, and I'll show you that here in just a moment, an app that would say, I want to listen on port 4567, and it asks the operating system, I want that, and I want to listen, and the operating system says, there you go, you've got it. It can be on the same computer. It can be on the same computer system, like a local area network, or it could be clear across continents. And I've successfully done this between Seattle and London and had UDP packets being transferred with maybe two or three packets lost in a period of two or three months. So that's a very high, um, very high record for getting packets transferred successfully without losing them. Another downfall for UDP would be if you're trying to go intercontinental, if you want to go from New York to Australia, chances are UDP would lose too many packets along the way. The further you get from the source of the UDP transmission, that's computer hops, you tend to have UDP packets that just don't arrive at the other end. And normally, you'd have no way of knowing that you lost some of the packets because the destination doesn't know there's a packet coming. Therefore, it doesn't know to report back, I didn't receive this. So that's where TCP is used for worldwide communication. Now, it's slower, but it's got that extra, you're, you're sure your data is going to get there, and both ends of the, the communication path are going to know. So let's get into looking at two stacks. And what I'm going to do is close a window here. I'm going to close a window here. This stack is called a UDP Echo Server, and it's written by Alex Tweedley. He did this many years ago. It's been up on the, um, the old Rev Online. If anybody needs these two stacks, I can certainly send you a copy. Now, I've modified them, and I've modified them in a few different ways. Here's the other stack. Now, currently, we're running in Live Code IDE, the development environment, and the result is that both of these stacks can talk to each other using the UDP. Now what I'm going to do is take a moment to look at the chat to see if anybody, if everybody can see it. I don't see any messages, so I assume everyone can hear and see. And at the moment, I know one of the complaints is going to be this looks pretty small, but I will be showing you in much larger detail here when we get in. But I want to show you the mapping of what's happening. We have here a UDP echo server and we have a UDP Echo client. I'm going to show you the controls for the server, and it's fairly simple once you understand a couple of the pieces here. I'm going to bring on a little tool called Sketch, and I'm going to make the image much bigger. So I think this should satisfy people. I think everybody should be able to see enough of the detail here. The server is going to be an entity. In this case, it's going to be a stack running in the IDE. It's going to ask my operating system. I want to listen on ports number 4567, 5888, and 49856. And I just chose those numbers. It doesn't really matter because you have so many possibilities and there's not going to be any conflict on my machine. What we want to look at is the idea that we can restart the server